N, 80.929570 W on the left. Not this one. This distribution technology. All right, so we're actually going to uh, Sam's Club Warehouse. And sometimes OTR over the road might be a misdemeanor because this was over the road, but not long haul, that's for sure. How many miles was this, Kevin? 15 miles. So this is the second shortest that Kevin's ever done. The shortest was on his very first day out with his trainer, <laughs> where they did nine miles from the Phoenix Terminal to Tullison. So that's, uh, yeah, that's still the shortest. But today, pretty darn short. A lot of crazy driving for such a short distance, but here we are. Yay. Another load delivered. Gotta head to security post number three. That was number two. And here comes the This morning we came down from Statesville, down 77, almost to downtown Charlotte, and then over here on this road on the on the 277, and then all the way up this yellow squiggly line to the Werner Yard, and then coming back, we all it, the the navigation steered us the wrong way on a one-way street had us do a bunch of hairpin turns to get back out the same way when we could just go across 85 and down this major boulevard we'll be almost there which would be much less stressful than all this yeah, downtown definitely. traffic and hairpin turns and turning backwards and everything telling else. us the wrong going going right. the wrong way on the one look way at, street look at the entrance onto onto the freeway here we came down through several traffic lights here turned on this narrow street and then did a fish hook up onto the interstate doing 20 miles an hour where the traffic's doing 60 as an example. Yeah, just right? example. And here where the road split. So this is one way going north, this is one way going south. We were going south and it told us we were supposed to be there. So we made a turn on this little tiny street, almost turned in the wrong direction one way. Then had to go back, make a hairpin turn to get back on the road, and it still kept telling us to go back right. to this road. And we saw another, we saw another truck. Another truck. Obviously, listening to the same. Yeah, another truck went up one of these side streets and was about to run into a bunch of houses. No, and and also going down to the so make, off, to make a wrong turn onto the one way. Off 85, yeah. down to here, and you're yeah. almost at the yard. All Much right. simpler. That's and how still we're big do it. yellow roads, so we know it's probably going to be very good for trucks. And just the co-pilot led us astray. So this is this... where you have to override, and you have to think, and you have to when plan. You, when you look on the satellite image of this road here, you'll see trucks on it, which yeah. is a good indication that it's a safe truck. Yeah. Route, if you see it on the satellite. Yeah. Well, thanks for explaining that, Kevin. Yeah, let's not lose any more hair over this. Thing. No kidding. I'm getting more and more gray hair. So they told Kevin to go to the driver's lounge. And so I sported my great jacket and grabbed my water bottle and uh, off we went to the driver's lounge. But it was really just the entrance area to where he had to drop off his paperwork. There were three chairs and a vending machine and bathrooms, so that was good. But <laughs> a far cry from what we had envisioned <laughs> when they said driver's lounge. <laughs> we were thinking comfy chairs, we were thinking, uh, I don't know, big screen TV, certainly a water fountain for refilling my water bottle. But uh, back to the truck. Yeah. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. We have all the comforts right here. 